The number of Lyme disease cases in the Washington region has more than doubled in recent years. Local health departments are paying a lot more attention to this. But there's a community of people, both locally and across the country, who believe the statistics don't tell the whole story. They think that Lyme disease is being underreported and underdiagnosed. Well, now a new documentary film premiering this week in Silver Spring is shedding new light on what some are calling a silent epidemic. Everybody's telling you it's in your head. You know it's not in your head. We don't think there's anything wrong with you. There is nothing wrong. We've done your, your labs. Your labs are fine. You're fine. These are the faces of Lyme disease. Men, women, young and old, all infected by the tick-borne illness. They're part of a new film documenting what they say is an emerging epidemic, larger than AIDS, that's going undiagnosed because too many doctors aren't properly diagnosing and treating Lyme disease. The last words my daughter spoke to me, her last words just, Mommy, they're going to kill me, and they did. Springfield, Virginia mother Tricia Plattis lost her nine-year-old daughter Amber from what she believes were complications of Lyme disease. Amber was never officially diagnosed with the disease. Instead, Plattis says she believes doctors argued over a diagnosis while her daughter got sicker. Amber had lost about 40 pounds. She was skinned. She had rash all over her. She couldn't walk barely. We had to put her in a stroller to carry her into the doctor's office. Since her daughter's death, Plattis and two of her three sons have been diagnosed with Lyme disease. Her third son has started to show symptoms. It's unclear whether Plattis passed the bacteria on to her children during pregnancy or if they were all bitten by ticks. The doctors are all fighting against each other instead of with each other. So the problem now becomes who can treat it, what's the diagnosis, and how to find it for other people that don't know that they have it. Plattis is one of dozens of people in the documentary, which paints a picture of a divided medical community. On one side, doctors who believe Lyme is easily treatable with two weeks of antibiotics. That's what the treatment guidelines specify, so that's what health insurance covers. On the other side, people like Plattis, who believe Lyme can be a chronic condition requiring months of medication and treatment. But because that's not in the medical guidelines, it can cost thousands. Plattis says she has spent $100,000 treating her family, and she's not alone. $150,000. $75,000 to $100,000. I was misdiagnosed for three years, five years, 14 years, 15 years, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Trisha Plattis hopes the film will shed some light on the issue and prevent others from the same fate as her daughter. When enough people get sick and hurt and die, then people seem to listen and things change. Those folks have some support in high places, too. The Connecticut Attorney General has filed suit to get the treatment guidelines for Lyme disease changed. The documentary Under Our Skin premieres tomorrow at the Silver Docks Film Festival in Silver Spring. You can protect yourself from Lyme disease. If you'd like some tips on how to do that, as well as information on the symptoms, you can go to NBC4.com and click on health. Pat and Jim, I think it's clear that there's still a lot we don't know about Lyme disease. I think this documentary is going to uh, raise even more questions. All right. This is an eye-opener, Pretty, mm -hmm. Yeah, disturbing. Thank you.